What's going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Now, the Flipper Zero has been out in the wild for almost two years now, and that's got some people wondering what's next. Well, we have all seen the old previews, and I've showed off in videos of the Flipper One. However, there's another project that almost no one knows about. Now, this isn't just some vaporware website with pictures and renders. No, no. This is actually a real thing that really exists. I have sat through countless Q&As, and I have scraped every single corner of the internet just to find as much information as I possibly can on this project. So what is the project? Well, you may have heard me mention it before, but it's the Flipper Nano. While I don't have a physical unit in my hands to play with, I do have a ton of great information about it. So obviously that begs the question, what is the Flipper Nano? Well, sit back and relax, it's time to find out. Now, before we start talking about what's coming up, I find it really important to talk about how we got here. Now, if any of you followed Flipper Zero since Kickstarter, you know that it took a couple of years for this product to get fully produced. I was actually able to grab this image from one of the early development builds. With the help of a little bit of AI upscaling, we can get a little bit better idea of what this thing looked like. Enhance. Enhance. Now, regardless of what this thing looks like, no, it is not a weapon. If you look really, really closely, you can see every single part of the Flipper Zero just laid out differently. Now, if you take a look at this next image, I've actually got a Flipper Evolution chart, which is really cool, thanks to Zoe for the photo. In fact, we're gonna be seeing a lot of Zoe's photos today, so again, thanks for these. What's cool about this image is it shows the entire process from research and development to production in multiple stages. It's one of my favorite photos, honestly. You can see all the iterations that they made along the way, changes in shape, changes in almost every single part of the flipper. It just shows how much thought went into this project. Now that brings us to another amazing photo, again, thanks to Zoe. Now this image actually shows all of Zoe's flippers that show so many different iterations of the flipper zero. One of the super cool things about this is that she actually took the time to write down the molding process for the cases, the hardware versions, and the PCB version. So cool. So yeah, that really shows just how much time, effort, research, so much stuff went into just making the Flipper Zero. All right, so with all the backstory out of the way, that brings us to the Flipper Nano. Now, the Flipper Nano is actually a really interesting piece of hardware because it's actually not exactly a hacking tool anymore. So what they did with the Flipper Nano is they removed NFC, IR, sub gigahertz, all of the hacking device features and replaced it with a second row of GPIO. Now, for those of you that have been completely living under a rock, GPIO just means general purpose input output. Put. And for Flipper Zero, they're boards that look like these. This happens to be the Yeti board. Now, what's great about GPIO is that you can create your own boards and devices for them. And of course, anytime it comes down to making your own GPIO boards, PCBs, anything like that, that brings us to today's sponsor. PCBWay! Now, you don't need me to tell you how amazing PCBWay is when it comes down to printing PCBs, doing PCB assembly, 3D printing, they have so many services. No matter what your project, PCBWay can help you make it happen. But don't forget, they have a module store. There's so much cool stuff in there. Electronics, tools, they even have toys in there. Now, what you may not know is that PCBWay is currently running an absolutely enormous Christmas promotion. They've got sales up to 50% off and they have coupons up to $435. So no matter what your project is or if you're just trying to find gifts for your friends and family, PCBWay's got you covered. Link down below to start saving up to 50% off and thanks PCBWay as always for your continued support. Let's get back at it. All right, so here's a picture of the Flipper Nano. Now you'll notice right off the bat, it looks pretty much like a Flipper Zero, except something's kind of missing. So according to Astra on the Flipper Zero forums, it's gonna have the exact same buttons, screen, CPU as a Flipper Zero currently, just stripped out IR, sub gigahertz, NFC, and uh, the I button. Of course, I always forget I button. So I guess that begs the question, what's the point? Well, the point is it's no longer going to be a hacking device, it's gonna be more of an interface device. 
The Flipper Nano aims to be kind of like an Arduino device, an inexpensive device, but this one already has buttons, it's got an interface, it's got firmware, it's got all the fit and function you want from a small device like this ready to go. I've actually got a few more pictures of the Flipper Nano without the case on. It's actually really cool. Obviously, I've taken my Flipper apart time after time, so I'm actually pretty well versed on the insides of a Flipper Zero. Now, these pictures, as cryptic as they may be, actually kind of show a lot of what's going on under the hood. You can clearly see there's a whole bunch of stuff missing from it. And yeah, it's because they took out IR, NFC, sub gigahertz, RFID, and I button. I remembered that time. So that brings us to really the most fun part of this project, and that's the GPIO boards that they're already coming out with. So that's where we got this photo. Now, it's pretty blurry, so we can apply some AI upscaling to it, and it still looks like crap. I don't know what kind of camera or phone they're using, but like, I haven't seen a picture this blurry since like 2010. But anyway, it does show us that they've made a ton of different interface boards for it, and they're all super cool. Now, while that photo is kind of rough, I do have some renders of boards they're either planning to make or have already made. Now, this first board is super cool. It's the Flipper Zero RPi 2040-DM version 1.0. Now, that Raspberry Pi is actually the exact same one that's in this Raspberry Pi Pico and in the Badger 2040. Now, this chip already has a good amount of processing power thanks to a dual-core 100 133 megahertz ARM processor. That coupled with the 256K on-chip SRAM and two UARTs, two SPI controllers, two I2C controllers, 16 PWMs, a USB 1.1 controller, and more. This little guy runs MicroPython and it supports Thawney Python IDE, which is an absolutely fantastic learning platform for anybody who wants to learn MicroPython. So that makes this entire GPIO board incredibly capable, and I'm very, very interested to see what they do with it. Now, the Raspberry Pi 2040 is already being used in things like LED displays, IoT devices, tons of stuff in manufacturing. It's ridiculously useful. So putting it with a Flipper Zero makes perfect sense, and really the possibilities are endless. So that brings us to our next really hard to say board. It's the Flipper Zero RS232 slash RS485 V1.1 board. I tried that like four times without looking away from the camera and I just couldn't do it, I'm sorry. So RS-232 and RS-485 is a communication device. What's cool about that is the Flipper Zero actually already knows how to communicate over that. And in fact, the guys over at Rabbit Labs have already made this. So this is an RJ45 plug, but it's using that exact same RS-232 system. So with the proper adapters, you can interface with modems and all sorts of other electronics. Now that board didn't just have RS-232, it also had RS-485. While the RS-485 is half duplex, while its brother the RS-232 is full duplex, it's actually really good in noisy environments or with really long cable runs. RS-232 is only good for about 50 feet, whereas RS-485 is good for about 4,000 feet. You know how you say a word over and over again and it starts to lose all meaning? I think we're getting there. That brings us to our next board, the Flipper Zero CAN slash LIN version 1.1 board. Now, this board is super cool, but let's clear up some terminology first. Now, CAN means controller area network, and BUS means binary unit system. Put it together and you've got CAN BUS. And what CAN BUS does is it's just a way of interfacing with certain devices. Now, what's cool about this board is that along with the LIN or a local interconnect network, that can actually interface with vehicles. Now, what's super cool is that someone's already done this with a Flipper Zero. I have a video of somebody using their Flipper Zero to control their car through the ODB2 port right in the car already. What's really, really cool about that is you can actually use the Flipper Zero effectively as a scan tool. So you can go through, turn off the check engine light, pull codes. You can do tons of stuff just with the Flipper Zero and and a CAN bus interface. To that effect, I've actually got this awesome picture from Alec, one of the devs over at Flipper Official, showing him using this to replace the speedometer on his moped. I mean, how cool is that? You could write your own app and create your entire own display for virtually anything with the electronics for it. What's really cool is that some of these boards even utilize both rows of the GPIO pins, allowing so much interface, it's really, really cool. They did say that current GPIO boards will still work with it, so that's really cool. However, obviously, if you have a new Flipper Nano board, and it's got two rows of GPIO pins, it's not gonna plug into the normal flipper. So reverse compatibility is not really a priority here. So yeah, that's the Flipper Nano. It's aimed to be an inexpensive all around controller for almost anything you could need it for. So is it the next latest and greatest hacking tool? 
No, it's not. However, it's going to be an amazing low cost device that could replace all sorts of devices like Arduinos and Raspberry Pi. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps a ton. If you have any ideas for GPIO boards that you want to see on the Flipper Nano, leave them down below. As always, you guys are absolute legends. We'll catch you next time.